Cigar Pals. Today, Romeo Juliet, uh, the uh, A.J. Fernandez special blend that he did for them. And uh, we're going to be smoking this thing today, checking it out. I have no doubt it'll be a good cigar. A.J. has only once in all the time I've been smoking his cigars left me with something that I didn't like. So I'm anticipating another good one. The aroma on this, I'll pull this off now that I've showed it to you, but it's got a uh, earthiness to it and a uh, roasted nut and a sweet honey flavor to it or smell. So let's not waste any time. Let's get her fired up. I've got a lot to tell you guys in the in the blog post itself <clears throat> about uh, Romeo and Julieta and uh, AJ Fernandez, plus a lot of links to some really cool stuff. So anyhow, what do we got on the cold draw? Hmm. There's that earthiness that that there's that honey in there and. Uh, The roasted nuts. Very nice. Let's fire it up. And see how it goes. Hope I got enough. Hmm. My lighter's about empty. <clears throat> got another one here. Hopefully this will do it. I'm gonna toast her up. Oh yeah, this lighter. <laughs> Burning way up here. Oh, wow. All right. Got her fired up. A little peppery on the light. Of course, we know that we're not looking for anything until we're about a half an inch in, but it's a little peppery on the fire up and earthy. And there's a little bit of sweetness there. So there we have it. Romeo and Julieta, AJ Fernandez version. And uh, we'll be back and let you know how it's going. I forgot to tell you, look at the construction here. Very nice, dark chocolatey wrapper. Very light veins. Very tight seams. Very good, huh? Very much smoke. We'll be back. All right, and we're back, and this is turning into a really nice stick. That nice white ash on there, beautiful ash. Look at that burn line, just about perfect, man. Can't ask for much better than that, huh? Nice and cool to the touch. Yeah, very nice, burning great. We're not quite to a third yet, but I'm gonna go ahead because I, I want to show you that ash. But in the first third, we have, um, where did we go? Still an earthy flavor. Roasted nut has morphed more into a black walnut. It's really coming on strong, too. The honey's still there in the background. Uh, there's a hint of espresso in there. And I forgot to put it in my notes, but there is a little, uh, little black pepper in there. But other than that, it's doing really nice, man. Brilliant. It's a nice cigar. I knew it would be. AJ, I knew it would be. I do, I've never reviewed a, uh, what you call it, before, um, uh, Romeo and Juliet, so. Let me tell you a little bit about it, too. This is a 6x52 Toro, medium to full strength. 
Um, it's got a Habano 2000 wrapper on it, Nicaraguan binder, and Nicaraguan filler. Price wise, nine to ten dollars a stick. Not bad. It's the, so far this is definitely worth nine to ten dollars. Very nice. Um, okay, folks, we're about at the half, and uh, what I want to do is pull the band off now. See how this goes. Ah, very nice, very nice on that one. I'm going to go ahead and pull both of them off. Very good. Worked perfect. Good deal, huh? All right, we're back, folks, with the first, or the last, <laughs> finished with the second third. And uh, in the second third, we had still earthy and walnut, pepper coming on strong and uh honey just hanging on um the pepper toward the end of this for the second third is easing back some so still got a lot of flavor to it a lot of complexity to this cigar we'll be back with the final all right folks we're uh just about done with this cigar we're gonna call it a wrap um in the final third it pretty much stayed the same the walnut the earthy the uh the, the honey kind of just at the very background there there's still that pepper coming on and and it's not real strong but it's uh enough to let you know it's there um been a really nice cigar i've enjoyed it just enough complexity i mean it's not terribly complex but it's got complexity to it and uh, a lot of different flavors my notes read like this um, overall, I thought this was the most enjoyable stick, while not real complex, the flavors that were there were well pronounced and pleasant to the palate. Would definitely recommend this cigar to anyone who enjoys a medium full body stick. That's my take on it. It's been good. We've enjoyed it. I got my microphone sitting right here, so that's what you're hearing. <laughs> but, uh, I'm playing a little music now. Anyhow, uh. This is the A.J. Fernandez, Romeo and Juliet. Um, I recommend it. And uh, until next time, Cigar Pals, smooth smoking. Mm -hmm.